up. Help me find a king. Stop looking at yourself and help me find a king. Am I annoying? Yes, you're very annoying. <laughs>
So I was listening to my audiobook instead of reading my physical book. But plans for today, my mom and I are going to Value Village because it's a 50% off book sale and you know your girl cannot resist a thrift store book sale. So we're doing that and then your girl's gonna dye her hair purple. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting forever to do this and it's finally time to be a great princess again. We've hit up number one value village. We're on our way to number two value village and then after dinner we're going to number three value village. We only spent $15. We six did books. good for six books and one of them's mom's. So therefore, I did well. But I still got two more to go, so. Second value village down. One more to go. I bought five more books, so we at 10 or $30 so far. Not even. Not even. So we got one more, and the last one is the best one. So we're probably going to have a lot of damage. But besides the point, I like books. Right, Mom? <laughs> more than other people. I like books a lot more than people. Third value village down. Five more books. But 15, 15 books. 11 is 26 plus another 12. Well, technically the one was not 15 because I bought you a book. Damn right you so. bought Well, me I a did book. not buy you a book. You'll put it on my tab. You have a oh, 299 tab with you know me, what? girl. No, no, no. Let's back this up a little bit, okay? Who just drove you to all three of them? I could have driven myself. Who just drove you? Oh, so now you're blackmailing me. You charge me for shit. Yes. Yes, exactly. So yes, no, I'm, I'm charging you two ninety nine for a book. To pay it. Then I'm not I'm taking two ninety nine off of my next tab. No. Yes! No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, okay, wait. Who just brought you lunch yesterday? Yeah, and then you're like, you're getting it next time. So really this you're is right, your your whole time. thing doesn't make any sense, but it, nice try. It makes all nice sense. try. Who has supported you for twenty-two years? Who has supported you for twenty-two years? Myself. No. Who supported me? I did with emotional yeah. support. Okay. The hair is being turned into great princess status by mother. How do you feel about being my hairdresser? I'm backwards. I couldn't do this job. <laughs> so far, it's been like 20 minutes and we have not even half of my head done. A beautiful ballerina. Ballerina. I don't know. That's what came out. I'm now we wait. It's supposed to be wait. a butterfly. Well, I don't look like a butterfly yet when you the unveiling is. You do not look is. like a That's butterfly. That's a butterfly. I like your cheek right there. Yeah, mommy got me. It's going to be purple forever. Now we wait half an hour and then I'll be a great princess again. Thank you. You're welcome, Jayanne. I love you so much. That was worth $2.99. Okay. <laughs> hey. It's now Wednesday. This is the finished product of my hair. I have a lot of filming to do since it's the end of the month, so I have to do my wrap-ups. I have to do my favorites video. I have to do my TBR. I have to do my most anticipated books. So I figured I would do it when my hair is purple so that we can get as much as the great princess status as possible but I thought I'd update you guys before we start all that. I read a bit last night I got to page 156 of Every Last Lie by Mary Kubica and it's getting so good. It's a dual point of view book I don't think I ever mentioned that. It's about this woman named Clara whose husband Nick was driving in his car with their four-year-old daughter and then he crashed and ended up dying and then the daughter is saying that it wasn't an accident like the police think it was and that somebody actually ran them off the road so we're trying to figure out if that's true or not and it's getting so good I have no idea what's going on I have no idea if it was an accident or not so hopefully gonna get a big chunk of this done soon because I'm digging it we're looking for a mattress pad we have acquired our mattress pad Our? yes because I use your bed more than you what I use your bed more than you, no, you don't. shut up yes I do like to have cuddles you don't cuddle with me, you read with me. Then I fall asleep and you leave because I'm snoring. <laughs> That's how it goes. We're getting popcorn. It says 13 servings. That's funny because it's going to be one serving. <laughs> Look! No hands! <laughs> we got a car mounty thingy, so now I can talk to you guys. Look, my hands are purple from dyeing my hair. Now the only problem is you can't see mommy. It's alright. It's not alright. I could just be the voice in the background. 
It'll be my conscience just like I telling me. Right, 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 right. So much fun, hands free, and now I can just eat and talk to you guys at the same and time. Eat. <laughs> yeah, it's not even about driving. It's, it's about eating. It's now Thursday at 9.30 in the morning. I just got back from my run. It's kind of funny because now that I dyed my hair, when I sweat, it like drips purple. So I have like purple streaks on my face, which I find hilarious. Also, another great thing about this hair dye is that it smells like grapes. Every time my hair would like whip in my face from like the wind and running i just got like a whiff of grape so i mean like that was enjoyable the run was shit because i was exhausted apparently it took me 17 minutes to run 3.26 kilometers which usually takes me like 15 minutes so <laughs> was not a good time i didn't read anything else last night because i went to ricardo's house i didn't film anything because i just didn't feel like it. I started a book before I left for his house. I started Cracked by K.M. Walton. It follows these two teenagers who become roommates in a psych ward. It actually goes by super quickly. The chapters are very, very short. It's like a dual point of view between the two boys. I'm gonna guess that I'm probably gonna give it a three out of five stars. I'm like halfway through right now and like it's decent, but it's nothing like, oh my god, I need to recommend this to everybody. That's pretty much my update. I'm still on like 150 of the Mary Kubica book probably going to listen to a little of that later today. I'm definitely not tanning today because it's very rainy and gross outside. We're just gonna have a reading day, I guess, which is fine by me, but I need to go shower because I feel disgusting. So let's see how much hair dye comes out. Don't mind Fernando chilling with me. This is mine and Ricardo's son, so he's just gonna chill on my bed. But it is Friday today. I just got off of work. It's around five o'clock. But I figured I would like update you guys before I actually did anything with my life tonight. Not that I really have anything planned. I finished Cracked by W.M. Walton this morning at 4.30 in the morning because I have insomnia apparently and can't sleep. So I was like, I'm gonna get this done. I think I'm probably gonna give it a three out of five stars. It was kind of dumb to be honest, but like the message was there. It just wasn't executed very well. Y'all can hear about like my full thoughts in my wrap up, but like, I mean, day one of June and I got a book done. So that's exciting. I, I'm like grabbing my boob, <laughs> fun stuff. <laughs> I let my mom choose my TBR for June and I'm already regretting it so hard because the book that I started at work today is just such a shit show. It's called The Creeping by Alexandra Saroy. I'm like 140 pages in and I'm just, oh my god, what is this book? Like literally one of the lines in the book is wait a bloody tampon second i'm sorry like who what possessed the author to write that in their book and for an editor to be like that's good yes include that i don't understand why we thought this was a good idea but i'm struggling and there's another book that my mom chose by the same author on that tbr so gonna be a fun reading month. I'm supposed to go for a run but it's hot as balls outside right now so like I don't want to get heat stroke and die so I'm waiting until it cools down a little bit probably gonna go around like eight or nine hopefully it's colder then. I went for my run. I feel like death. It was very humid out but I ran 3.50 kilometers in 17 minutes which I guess is decent -ish. I finished Every Last Lie by Mary Kubica. I pretty much had no idea what was going on for the entire book because the narrator is so unreliable. She changed her story like 50 million times. I enjoyed it, so that's good. I feel like I need to go to bed though because I'm so tired. It's only 9 p.m. though. Hello! It's now Saturday. I get no hands. Super exciting because, you know, this whole car thing that I got going on. I'm not driving so don't be mad at me. Work was super interesting today. Um, I was just done with the world. I got there and there's two birds trapped in my building and so I spent 40 minutes trying to get these birds out of my lobby with a receptionist that is like terrified of birds. So she's screaming. The birds are screaming because I didn't have like a towel or anything so I'm trying to use like cardboard 
to get them out of this damn lobby and I was just not having it. I was pissed off and I was just like, this is not okay. And then I had one gentleman come into my rec center and he starts arguing with me that there's no food court in our building and that's unacceptable because his grandkids are starving and they need food and there's nowhere to buy food here and how can we call ourselves a community center when we don't have any food and we're not serving the community because we don't have food for his grandkids who are starving and I was just like sir bro bro Gerald Harold whatever your name is old man I did not build this building I was not even born when this building was built so I had no say in how it was constructed and whether or not there was a food court included so I'm so sorry that you're mad and upset that your kids are starving but I cannot help you we have vending machines if you want to go check that out and then he goes to the vending machine and our vending machines are apparently out of order so he goes you did this on purpose you made your vending machines out of order so that my children could starve and I was just like Let's just think about this logically here. Why would I do that? Why? And me and the receptionist just like looked at each other like, what the fuck? And he's just telling me that he's gonna like call my supervisor and complain about me because I'm not serving the community properly. And I was like, I don't even own the vending machines. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Like, leave. The Lord is testing me today. I'm just saying. We're going to busker fest which is a kind of carnival festival thing where street performers come and do street performer things we go every single year and it's the best you want to know why people because lemonade <laughs> and elephant ears so not, not, <laughs> the not the entertainers that come from around the world to perform it's all about food yes do you see these cheeks i didn't get them for nothing Dundas is a little town outside of Hamilton. There's four main intersections that the main drag is closed and at the four intersections is where the performers perform and they have uh, four different going on at different times and there's a number of performers. Stop! I had to staple a card to a man's chest oh, once. that's right. I cried. And you cried. Yep, that was fun. You also did a trampoline thing. Yeah, that was then, fun because I didn't have to kill anybody with a staple gun. You actually staple gunned a guy's chest. I did, and then I cried like a little you bitch. You did cry, and he felt really bad. Yeah. Which was really funny. Well, because like I don't want to <laughs> mutilate a person, but I was like, the show must go on. <laughs> and there, there's like there's comedians and acrobats and jugglers and flame eaters. It's that kind of a... Thing. Some of them are really good, like really cool. Some of them and are really bad. And then some really of them are bad. really bad, and you're just kind of going, what the hell? Why don't you do it? Why don't? Because I don't do? have a talent. What would your talent be? And not <laughs> Eating all people, the elephant ears. People watching you eat. That's the only talent I have. I don't have a talent. <laughs> um... No, you don't. Quite often it's the, the big burly men who have to hold up ropes to hold up acrobatic poles and stuff, right? Sadly, I'm not a big burly man, you so I be. often do not get chosen. Well, you're not a cute and cuddly little girl anymore either, though. Yes, I am. <laughs>
Hello, people. It's now Sunday, June 3rd, last day of this Rita vlog. I'm gonna start calling them Rita vlogs now. I finished work. I read the entire time. I finished The Creeping by Alexandra Saroy. I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 stars. I hated it completely. It was so bad and just no, I can't. But I also started The Prophecy of Sisters by Michelle Zink. And I'm only like 50 pages in. I can't really give like what I think of it so far, but so far it's okay. It's about these two twins, one's good, one's evil, and then there's a book. And it's like a prophecy based off of this book. That's all I know about it. But the plan for tonight is to literally just read because I have nothing to do with my life. So we're going to see how far we can get in this. I'm going to end my <laughs> read a vlog now so that I can edit it to get it uploaded by tomorrow morning. So thank you for joining me in another week. I will see you all next week. Good bye.